What is some key industry advice that you carry with you through this day? If you do everything in your power to do what you have to do, you'll always be able to do what you want to do later on in life. Yo, what up, it's your girl Taylor Parks, and this is 106 in Park Mic Check, and I'm answering you guys' fan questions today. Let's get into it. Agnesis23 said, if you could choose one song to describe how you're feeling right now, what would it be? Well, I personally have been, you know, in Joshua Tree and in the house and bopping around and just honestly trying to find any piece of positivity I can during this time, which has been just crazy with what's going on in the world, but it would be Sunflower by Vampire Weekend. That was my song when I was on tour with Anderson Pack, and it's still my song now. <laughs> Honey B. Johnson asks, what artist do you wish to collab with? Uh, I would like to collab with Adele. Um, I don't think that I've that I've written or recorded with an artist that is in her lane. Not that there would be somebody who could possibly be, but I think that just just because I love to do something different, um, I would love to do something with her. And name a few pros and cons of coming from behind the scenes as a writer to now the main stage as a performer. Some pros are, you know, the fact that I have the freedom of kind of doing what I want to do and when I want to do because. It, at that point, you know, you're, you're doing it because it's fun, you know, so I'm hopping on stage not because it's, uh, um, it's something that I have to do, but something that I want to do because I've had the success behind uh, my songwriting. Some of the cons come from really just kind of imaginary cons like other people thinking that you could possibly, that you couldn't possibly do one more than one thing well um, at once. I think that that's poison for the mind that has been kind of fed to our society for a very 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 long time but there's also things that you know going back to the pros of that is it adds fuel for you to be the best that you can be at whatever it is that you're doing so um I, i've had a, a really really incredible time being able to you know go on tour with anderson pack and lizzo and then sid you know and then my own movie to talk to her um which was incredible you know and then also the the pro of it is sometimes going back and forth between those worlds are something necessary to humble you. Another question I got is, what is the craziest place that you've written a song? The craziest place that I've written a song would definitely have to be um, a castle in South of France. That was definitely the craziest spot. Um, I also remember a bat flying moment. If you know me, you know that I'm terrified of birds. So, uh, um, safe to say, I had to take a minute before I went back into that session and just, you know, cry my eyes out. <laughs> Where is my favorite place to write? Uh, my favorite place to write is anywhere that is going to give me inspiration, um, which could literally be anywhere in the world, whether it's on a plane ride and seeing the couple next to me, or whether it's, you know, in my living room, or whether it's in the studio, you know, which also happens too. <laughs> I think that if you limit yourself to having a favorite place to write a song or a place that you know that you'll write that hit song, you also uh, deprive yourself from possibly finding a new favorite place to write a song, you know? What is my superpower? My superpower is my ability to be able to be empathetic. Um, the biggest regret of my career. Hmm. I think the only regret that I that I that I've ever had is any time that I haven't believed in myself uh, to be able to accomplish a thing. I think that. Um, anything. I think that when we get into this industry, sometimes people make you feel like, oh, you know, people before you are just artists or they're just writers. And, you know, usually artists or usually songwriters go about it this route. And I think that any time that I've tried to take um, the road that everybody takes versus the road less traveled, which is my path um, and the path that is meant for me, I've regretted it. What is some key industry advice that you carry with you through this day? I wouldn't say it's industry advice, it's something that my dad told me that he heard somewhere. Uh, do what you have to do to do what you want to do. Meaning, if you do everything in your power to do what you have to do, you'll always be able to do what you want to do later on in life. If you had 48 hours left on this earth, what would you do? 48 hours? Man, I mean, I'm definitely, I'm gonna try to travel the world and do like, there's this cooking thing and basically you go around the world and you travel and you cook based off of where you are in the world. That has to be somewhere in there. And 
and obviously I would probably leak all my songs. <laughs> Bye guys, this was so so much fun. Thanks for tuning in to 106 in Park Mike Chang with your girl Taylor Parks. Uh, make sure you check out my album out right now. We need to talk, but also make sure you check out the new single Dance Along coming on my new album, Coping Mechanisms. Bye guys.